Hey, this is Relly Rel 82. You're watching my YouTube. This is Relly Rel 82 YouTube. I got this Easter egg here, and this is uh, the very Easter egg. So I just want to show you guys, just like every other Easter egg, the my transit Easter egg. I got my um, die rice Easter egg on here. Um, my mom of the dead Easter egg. So this is the next Easter egg, you know, down the line. So. This is the buried Easter egg. I'm going to try to show you guys in much detail as possible. So you guys can actually just basically do the dang Easter egg yourself. And, you know, everything else you need four players on. You just need that assistance to get them to help you out. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the, the guillotine. Uh, getting all the parts for that and putting that stuff together. And then, you know, later on in the video, I'm actually show you where all the bodies are at when you actually have to find the body location. I'm going to give you guys a good strategy on how to pull down the handles on uh, the second to the last step when you're in the garden. Because that could be kind of tedious and stuff like that, too. And plus, like, the, the cipher encryption, you guys will probably need more detail and help on that, too. But I'm going to show you that in a second. But first, let's get to the guillotine. Here's all the part locations. First one right here is in the, the gunsmith shop, and it's pretty much uh, right there. This object. Run over here, put it on the table, good to go. All right, the second part I'm actually get is this piece right here. That's right uh, on the top floor of the saloon. Ooh, it may be wise to keep hold of this. All right, so let me show you a third one. You're going to be going in the tunnels. And it's like a little crystal rock that's right across from that, the crystal ball that you're going to have to charge up. But there it is right there. Just head right back down. It's right above uh, the bank. This appears to be a component of something. Just go ahead and put that on the, the table. That's your third piece right there. Ah. All right, your fourth piece is in the barn. I'm about to show you. Where that's at right here. So these you only need four pieces for the guillotine. This is the Rick Toffin version. Uh for the Maxis version. You'll just have to look up another Easter egg for that one. But this is Rick Toffin and uh first you gotta build the, the guillotine to do it. So this is the last piece. You got the table done with, so it's on to the next step, and the next step is charging the orbs. So, I'm about to show you that in a second. So here it is right here. This is the first orb of my charge. Right in the tunnels. So there's four orbs you gotta charge. And of course, you got to get your paralyzer out the box. So you just keep hitting the box until you get your paralyzer. But that's it right there. You got that orb. Then you got the one that's right down here. It's your second orb. Then after that, you're going ne right next to the church. You're going to get that orb. All right, and the uh, the fourth orb is you got to go right through the through the witch's mount uh, mansion, and it'll be right on the side. Just watch me right here. Let's see exactly where I'm going. That's it right there. So once you do this. Uh, that's that step. The next step is uh, shooting the lantern out, out the sky. It's going to be floating in the main area. Actually, the other guys already threw the grenade at the lantern. So by the time you see me get to it, it's already going to be on the ground. But you just see it floating in the air. You cook your grenade. You toss it up at the lantern, and it's going to fall down to the ground. And there it is right there on the ground. Go ahead and pick it up. Next step you have to do is go ahead and get this thing charged up. And the only way you're going to charge it up is with... Uh, the witches. So this is where I'm actually going to the witches mansion and just start killing some witches. I suggest uh, you use a gun. You don't really want to use your uh, galvan knuckles because I mean if they touch you you're, lo you're losing your money. So 
you just keep on going until you you know you hear hear the chimes and when when the chimes stop that means it's filled and i believe it's uh eight uh which is you have to kill not that that is is filled but then once it's filled i'm gonna show you guys the next step Alright. So now I'm just uh just trying to get out the the mansion. So just going, 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 going. So I got that bad boy filled. Now it's time to do this next step right on top of the gunsmith shop. And it's to put that lantern right in this little piece right here. Alright, this is where you're gonna decipher the code. And you got five signs to hit. So here's the little code right here. I'm, uh, this is my own little uh, interpretation of all the codes. So you got five options to choose from. And whatever you see on that wall, that's what you're going to have to hit. You don't have to hit it in, in order. Just hit the three that you see that's on your wall. So this is the list right here. If you have to pause the video to just take a longer look at it to decipher the one on your screen, then go ahead and do that. But that's what this is. And uh, hey, let's get to the next step. So after you got that, you know you know what you need to hit. Let me show you where all the signs are at. So first sign, once you go up in there, is right there. That's your first one, and you only have five signs. The second one is right in this little tunnel area. I kind of didn't give you a, a good look at it, but it's right up in there. And then the third one's right here. It's actually uh one I actually had to hit. It's kind of dark, I know. The game makes it so dark you barely can see it. And then the next two are up in this area. So that's the fourth one right there that's already uh, glowing red. And the fifth one is right there. So, once you found all the signs and you found the three signs that you're supposed to hit, once you hit your third sign, the, the wisp is going to come out, and that's your next step. So you're going to have to chase down the wisp, and he'll eventually be at the guillotine. That's the final stop. So there it is right there. And you got to have, if you have your vulture raid on, you can see the wisp. If, if you don't, you won't be able to see the wisp. So I suggest that you have everybody on your team have the vulture raid, and so everybody can help you uh, catch this wisp. It's better with four people than one. It's possible with one, because I did it with one, just doing it with me, but... It's, it's a whole lot easier when you got everybody participating. So it's going to bounce around. I say an average of maybe like seven different spots. Then after that, on the last spot, it'll uh, go to the guillotine. And then after that, just touch it while it's by the guillotine and it's going to lock in place. Yeah, you see me kind of scrambling, but everybody's, you know, doing their part and catching the, the wisp when they need to. And here it is right there. And then it's at its final spot. I go ahead and uh, touch it one last time. And it's locked in. So after that, now you got to kill five zombies that's charged with the wisp. So see, once it's doing that, you kill the zombie. And that will be the first one. See, uh, we're toughing these to energy. So that's when we're going to kill it. And you got to do five zombies that way. So, I'm going to show you that right now. These are the easy steps right here. They don't really start becoming difficult. N even the infinity round is not difficult to me. It's just like, once you know where all the bodies are at, you're good to go. You know, you can do it. If everybody on the team know where all the bodies are at, you're good. The only difficult thing that will probably be about that one is just getting your max ammo. It, you know, just in case you don't get it the first time, because you got to throw down your time bomb again and try it all over again. But yeah, but this part right here, just kill five zombies. As you see us doing right here. Yeah, I was playing with some uh, good guys. That they know how to play. And, and that's what I like. So, uh, give a little shout out to, to Bad Dog, to Fire Maniac, and, uh, King Crazy. 
So this is the the spot locations. That's the first one for the the body locations. Uh, this is the second spot I saw the body in. This is the third spot. This is the fourth spot for the body locations. This is the fifth spot. These are all the spots I found. Uh, if you guys find more spots, then let me know. Sixth spot. This is the seventh spot. Because for the most part, I believe I found all the spots already. So I believe that's everything. But like I said before, if you guys uh, know, just let me know. And I'll uh, correct it in the annotation. That's the eighth spot. Here's the ninth spot. So when you play in this mode, tenth spot right there, look in those spots and you'll find the bodies. Eleventh. These are all the places you can look. Twelfth spot. And most likely you'll probably get it on your first try if your whole team looks in those spots. If they, everybody pulls their part and look in their areas. Uh, that's 13, and I found 14 spots where the bodies are located. If there's more, let me know. Leave it in uh, the comment area. So here we go. We're actually doing it. So how my strategy is, we got two people going to the, the left and then two people going straight. So the two people to the left are finding the bodies, you know, on that side, and the two people that's going straight are finding the bodies straight ahead. So here we go, just checking all the spots. And uh, for the most part, you don't have to, it's not necessarily always the fourth body that you find that has the, the switch. I, I, I played it sometimes where the, the second body had the switch. So it's not always the case, but in this case, it was the fourth body. I and I end up getting the switch. So now you gotta wait till the whole round is over. You can't kill the zombies, but you can shoot them and rack up some points. But even though you're racking up points, you're not gonna you're not gonna keep the points once uh, this infinity round is over. Everything's gonna go back the way it was right before you threw down the the time bomb. It's gonna work the same way. The time bomb has the same effect. So these guys are just wasting their bullets, just racking up. But they was just goofing around. They knew they knew they wouldn't uh, be able to collect the points afterwards. So, guys, once you get that switch, just put it on the guillotine. That's your last piece. So technically, there's five pieces for the guillotine, and that's what you'll get. Now, this part can be kind of difficult. This is the switch uh, in the in the garden. And uh, I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can, but basically, the switches. You have four switches in this garden, and you pretty much have to pull them down in order. The way you know how to figure out the order is that the switches, the last switch that you pull, after you pull down all the switches except for the last switch, once you pull down the last switch, uh, all the switches should spark for the most part. Now, if your switch doesn't spark, that means you don't, you didn't pull that switch in the correct order. If your switch sparked... That means you pulled that switch in the correct order. So let's just say the third switch that you pulled down is sparked at the end and everybody else's didn't. That third switch that you pulled is in the correct order. So the next time you do it, you'll do it that third switch in that order and switch everything else up. So let's just say, I'm going to give you an example. You got a, uh, you, you you know, you hit blue first, then red, then green, then yellow. All of them end up wrong or whatever. So you'll try it again, but you'll switch it in a different order. I got a strategy that you'll pretty much get it in no more than four tries so you know like i said before you did blue red green yellow all of them was wrong so you'll switch it up you won't hit blue first uh the next time you'll switch it up so let's just say you hit red green yellow blue and you still get all of them wrong well you already know two of the combinations that you did already now i really suggest that you write this stuff down so you can know exactly what you did you don't have to try to remember because if you write it down then you'll definitely get it in four tries let's just say the next third try you hit it green yellow blue red and you got them all wrong well that's 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 good that means because after that you know the combination because you hit every switch in that order and it was all incorrect so after that you have only one of the choice, and that'll be yellow, blue, red, and green, and that'll be your correct order. These are, it's an example, guys, so don't hit it in that order and, and be like, oh, uh, that's that's not it. it. It it didn't work for me. 
No, the switch is always different. And if you get it incorrect, uh, you know, you have to leave the maze and then come back. Everybody on the whole team has to leave the maze and come back. And so the, the maze can reset and the doors could be in different spots and you can just try the whole switch thing again. But that's how you do it, guys. You could do it within four tries. Uh, if you're still not for sure about it, then uh, just go ahead and uh, send me a, a comment and I'll uh, explain it some more. But uh, I don't want to take too much time on this video. I just want to show all the other steps and get everything done. So you guys won't see an hour long Easter egg video. <laughs> so that's that's it. And right here on the scene, you was, I was just uh, showing you that I did it right. I didn't even have the other guys do it because I already knew the order the, the last time I did it. So now nah, here's the right. See that wishing well? Pull that down. And uh, you'll have that, uh, not the X button, but the square button to start it up. So here's the candy shop target area right here. And for this area, you have 20 targets you have to take down. And I'm going to show you every guy's area. They're, these guys are pros, and they know what they're doing. <laughs> so this is King Crazy right here. And he's going to take down all 20 of his targets, and... You guys know exactly where all the targets are at because you'll see him get all his uh, perks at the end. Cause that's that's what you get at the end, end of this Easter egg. You get all your perks. So that's King Crazy's view right there. He hit all his targets. All right, here you go. Here's Fire Mechanic. And he has 19 targets to hit. So you're about to see all his targets. Good precision, good aim. You can tell we we done it plenty of times already. We, you see, he knows exactly where the targets are at. That's how you got it. That's how you got to do it, though. And he got all his uh, got all his perks. He hit all his targets. And this is Bad Dog right here. And he has 22 heart, uh, targets to hit. This is his uh, his spot he chose to uh, stand in. That's where he felt the most comfortable, and that's where he was hitting his targets at. Everybody got their own spots they stand in, you know. Whatever works best for them. But as you can see, he already knew where his targets was. And that's him. And there's his perks right there. Got all his targets. And last but not least, yours truly, Rally Row 82. I'm at the Witch's uh, Mansion, and I'm taking down my targets. And I got 23 targets to hit. So I'll just show you guys my targets. Uh, you got... Well, right now I'm shooting it while uh, I'm in the dark. And, uh, you know, sometimes the, the, the Witch's Mansion is lit up. Because, uh, you know... After a few rounds or whatever, you know, if it's lit up, that means the witches are not going to come out the mansion. Or they're going to come out the mansion and if you go into the mansion. But if it's not lit up, then that means when you, ever, when you go into the mansion, they're not going to come out. And, that's, and all, all that is is a perk thing. Basically, if the, the mansion is lit up, you can get a perk. But that's every, like, five rounds or so. But that's off the subject. There's all my targets. I mean, all my perks right there. I hit all 23 of my targets. The Easter egg is done. We're all happy. We're like, yay, we got a trophy, and we're good to go. But that's it, guys. This is the, the buried Easter egg. Hope you guys uh, learned something. If you didn't, then just uh, look at this video again. But that's it. This is Rally Rail 82. Like, subscribe, comment at the end. Peace out.